Hey guys, welcome to Wicked Manny. Today I'm going to be reviewing some very, very inexpensive nail stamping plates that I found on Amazon. As usual, all the products I'm using today will be in the comments below. So the first set we're going to start out with is Shani 2012 Nail Art Polish Stamp Manicure Image Plates Set of 25 Pieces. Obviously that is the product name as it is listed on Amazon. Then we've got two plate sets, one by Beauty Leader and one by Finger Angel. And then I have two plate sets by Wokodo, Wokudo? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. So I will be honest, I have bought some plate sets like this before on Amazon and was never very impressed with them. However, at the time I had really crappy stamping polish, so that could have been why I didn't like them. So I'm going to be giving these a shot with all the same black stamping polish. It's a Born Pretty stamping polish. If you want to find it, it's in the comments below. So I will be trying this with good stampers and good stamping polishes. So if you want to have the same results that I am having with these, I recommend that you use the same thing. If you use normal nail polish versus stamping polish with these, you will likely not have the same results. So just keep that in mind. If you have been toying with the idea of getting stamping polish, but you haven't wanted to buy it because it is more expensive than regular nail polish, I would say if you're on that hurdle because you're not sure if it's worth the money, I will tell you I have been in that exact same place and it is totally worth the money and it will save you a lot of frustration. So looking at the Beauty Leader set and the Finger Angel set side by side, they appear to be the same thing to me. Um, the Finger Angel one came with 20 plates, the Beauty Leader came with 10 plates, and I think these are the same thing. Yeah, looking at these plates side by side, these are the exact same plates with the exact same images, just the listings have different names on them. So yeah. All right, now we will do some test stamping. Well, actually, I'm going to show you all the plates in the shanty set first, and then we'll do some test stamping. I'm going to do all the test stamping on white paper because I think that makes it easier to see. And I only have so many nails, so <laughs> it just makes my life a million times easier. So I have to say of all these, the packaging for the shanty is the, the most fancy, if you will. It has what feels like a magnetic closure, which I can't really figure out why, and it's kind of difficult to get some of these out of here because they got stuck in the bottom because it's inside this weird styrofoam circle thing. All right, so there are 25 of these. So I'm going to just go through quickly and show you guys what are on these. All right, so we got like bikini dollar sign situation, some like cartoon animals, a leaf, butterflies, some fireworks, some more cartoon stuff like a devil thing, spider web. I like the spider webs. Some astrological sign symbols, some numbers, snowflakes, weird French tip things, uh, floral crap, fish bones, circles, butterflies, more swirls, more swirls, palm tree, uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, most of these plates are really going to lend themselves to double layer stamping. If you've never done double layer stamping, it's when you put a lighter design in the background and then you stamp over it in, in a darker color um, or a brighter color. And you usually do smaller images for the, the layer of stamping that will be on the very top of your nail. So I would say a lot of these symbols lend themselves to that. This spider web design that's on this plate is really freaking cool. I like that one a lot. However, my nails are very, very long, so I don't know how well that will work on the length of my nails. But this pattern is pretty small and intricate, so I'm going to try test stamping this one to see how it works. I'm very skeptical of these. I will start off saying that. Uh, because I have had such bad luck with plates like this in the past, but 
that stamped perfectly. Um, like that stamped just how I would expect any normal, like, uh, higher price range stamp plate to stamp. So I'm going to, I'm going to give this plate so far a huge thumbs up. Uh, we will, we will see how the rest of these do though. Um, I'm going to reserve my full judgment until I try a few more. If you do purchase the plates in these sets, I will tell you the edges are incredibly sharp. So be very, very careful with these. Uh, if you are a child, and by child, I mean if you were under the age of, let's say, 15, maybe 13-ish, please have your parents help you with these because they are very, very sharp and you can cut your fingers on the edges of the plates if you just hold them the wrong way. Um, you can maybe do something about that if you put clear coat around the edges or something. I don't know. I've never tried to do that, but I have cut myself on stamp plates before. It is no joke. It hurts a lot. So please, please be careful with these, especially while you're peeling off the blue film. That's, that's when I've had the most accidents with, with stamp plates. All right, so now we're going to test stamp a skull because that's how I roll. And I imagine if I use these stamping plates, I will just be using these little stumbles. And that, that did a really good job too. So I'm, uh, I'm liking these so far. I definitely think they're worth the money. Uh, I don't know how much it will be for you on Amazon because Amazon prices fluctuate. But when I purchased this particular set, it was $11. All right, so let's try something from this plate set. I'm gonna try this feather situation. It's either a feather or it looks like it could be like a fingerprint. Do yourself some like CSI nails. That one did good. It's probably not something I would wanna put on my nails though because I feel like the lines are very, very close together and I would just end up smudging that every single time I tried to use it, but it stamped well enough. It stamped better than I thought it was going to. So I'm, I'm still giving these a thumbs up. All right, let's, let's try this butterfly. And that still did a, a really good job. Yeah. I gotta say guys, like I'm, I'm really impressed by these for the price point. Cause typically for 25 plates from most stamp plate companies, you're, you're going to be spending $25, if not more. Some of these are usually a dollar to $5 per small circular plate. All right. So let's try the Wakoto. Yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to pronounce that. Let's try the Wakoto plates. So these ones were slightly more than I wanted to spend. However, they had the biggest designs, and because I have really, really long nails, it's difficult to find stamp plates that accommodate having nails as long as I do. So I thought that in the long run, these were going to be the most useful for me because they had larger designs on them. So that's why I went with these. So I bought two sets of Wakoto plates. Each one was four piece. One of them was... A more lacy situation and the other one was supposed to be more flowers um, so these also came with their own stampers so did the finger angel ones um, and the beauty leader so the stamper that came with the Wakoto ones I will I will show how that one works in a little bit so we're going to start off with one of these larger designs because this is what I see myself using all the time. And we're just going to scrape off the excess. I'm going to lift off the design and try stamping that on the paper. And that did, that did a great job. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I gotta say, like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these so far. All right, let's, let's try this, this scraper and stamper. Actually, I'm not going to try the scraper. These scrapers are crap. Uh, 
If you get one of these scrapers, just throw it in the garbage. It will do you no good. Use an old credit card or an old gift card. If you don't have a scraper, it, it will be much better. So this little bitty, little, little bitty stamper. <laughs> it's great because it's clear and I have never received a clear stamper in a plate set like this before. So I'm impressed by that. Usually it's these awful like rectangle ones that you can't see through and they will not stamp at all. So uh, I, I hate stampers usually that I get in a set, but I have to say like I love the stamper that they included with this thing. Like I was going to just throw it in the trash because I've had such bad luck with stampers that have been included in the past. But this thing stamps crazy good. Like it I didn't have to prep it out of the package or anything. This is just stamping as it comes and I'm I'm really impressed by this stamper. Honestly, if you need a tiny stamper, I might buy I might recommend buying this just to get this little stamper cuz it did a really good job. And I can't find anything on Amazon that is a tiny stamper that looks like this one that you can buy alone. So, I have to say a uh, high five Wakodo. You guys did a great job with this tiny tiny stamper. Please make one that's bigger for bigger nails because my nails are ginormous. I need bigger stampers. Okay, so let's try this little design that has intricate lines to see how this little stamper does with this. And that is perfect. Like, perfect, guys. Like, that looks amazing. It looks like it was printed on the paper. I, it might be magic. It, we might have just witnessed magic right here. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this tiny, tiny stamper. It might be my new best friend. All right, let's open another, another plate for science and see how this one stamps. I don't think it's going to be any different, but we might as well because we're all already gathered here. Just going to peel this blue stuff off and then we're going to try one of these other small intricate designs with this little stamper that was included as if I might be able to make it not do a good job eventually. We'll see how it does. going to just scrape off the excess, lift up the design, and press it on the paper. And yeah, it's still doing a fantastic job. This, this stamper, yeah, I like it. I like it a whole, whole lot, if you can't tell already. All right, so let's try some of the lace plates. Just going to cut this one open. Uh, like I'm doing here in these, I'm using... Um, like a pair of nail scissor things to peel up the plastic. I recommend that you use these things or I think they're supposed to be cuticle cutters. I don't know what the technical name for these things is. Or use tweezers because if you try and peel off this plastic from the edge with your nail, you're going to split your nails and you're going to break your nails. You're going to destroy them and don't do that. Be nice to your nails. Be kind to them and then they won't break. All right, so like the other plate, we are going to scrape off the excess and I'm gonna move back to my normal stamper. We're just gonna put the design down there. I think that looks great. Yeah. I mean, I have several other lace plates, most of which have small designs, and I think this one looks just as good as those. All right, so let's try again using the tiny stamper. We're just gonna do the same thing, get some more the design from the same area and try it with the little stamper. The little stamper did a better job. What, what planet am I on that this tiny stamper did a better job than my usual stamper? What? 
You got to get you guys one of these little stampers. Like, this thing is friggin' cool. Wakodo, make bigger ones. Bigger, please, out of the same material. I don't know what this is. Like, it feels slightly different than all my other stampers. Like, it's... Like, it's a little firmer. It's not as, like, marshmallowy as some of the other ones. I don't know. I want a bigger one. Come on. Make it happen, guys. Make a Kickstarter. I don't care what you have to do. I want another one. Okay, let's try this next plate. All right, let's do the finger angel ones. Or you could call them beauty leader. They're the same thing. They're just using different names. So the first one is going to be the one that's labeled finger angel. So I'm just going to drop some of these down so that you can see what designs were included in here. And then I'm just going to choose a few of these that I'll go ahead and try and stamp from. Most of these are just like swirls and floral and then like some abstract designs. There's some lace. Something that could give you some mermaid scales. Something that looks kind of like a Christmas sweater. More flowers. Something that looks kind of like tree bark. Yeah, some lines, lines and swirls, more leaves, some geometric designs for you, and then more swirls and flowers. Lots of swirls and flowers. All right, so I'm just going to put down some of the designs I think I'm going to try first. And try and do some variety here, so I'm not just doing the easy ones. I don't want to go easy on these stamping plates because you guys aren't going to go easy on these stamping plates. And I want everybody to have stamping plates that make them happy because nothing sucks more than wanting to do your nails and having a stamping plate that does not do its job. It's so frustrating. All right, so I'm going to cut these open, pull off all this stupid plastic because everything is covered in plastic. Sealed for your nail protection or whatever. Sealed to slowly kill the environment. Oh, also, if you check out the link below, I, uh, since I ended up with two plate sets that were the same, I'm gonna give one of them away. I'm giving away like a hundred and something dollars worth of stuff on my blog right now. You should go enter. Yeah, please go enter so I can send you this stuff and get it out of my house and it can go live in your house. Yeah. You want to know what I'm giving away? Besides those plates, I'm giving away some nail polish and some stencils and some other plates and some nail polish, obviously, and some like mermaid flakies. There's a bunch of crap in there. I list most of it on my blog, unless I throw more stuff in before I send it. So go enter, do it. Okay, so let's try our first design on this plate. So this one reminds me of one of the Born Pretty plates that I have that I like a whole, whole lot. Let's see how it does. It did a good job. I like that. Yeah. I mean, the edges are a little weird, but that's because I didn't spread the stamping polish all the way to the edge like I was supposed to. But, you know, no one's perfect. It's not the plate's fault. That's my fault. All right, so let's try another one. Let's try one of these floral swirly situations. That looks good too. I gotta say, like, all these plates are knocking it out of the park. I don't know if my past bad experience with plates was the fault of a bad stamper and bad stamping polish. I don't know. But these are doing a great job. I don't know how these things don't have better reviews on Amazon. Go buy these. Yeah. If you want pretty nail stamping stuff, go get them. Oh, uh, this plate set. 
the 10 piece version is $6.99 and the 20 piece set was $10.99. So, I mean, I would go for the 20 piece set because you're getting more plates for the money. Uh, but definitely buy one of the four piece Wakodo sets so that you get that freaking awesome clear stamper. Okay, back to the actual review of these. So, this last one, like, it did a good job stamping. I just don't really think that that's a good design to stamp on your nail. Because I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Like, the lines are way too close together. Like, it did a really good job. And, I mean, it looks fine. But I just feel like once you put that on your nail, you're not going to be able to tell what it is unless you have like a really light polish in the background and you're very, very careful about your top coat usage. All right. So that's it, guys. We are done with this review. Overall, I give these plates a solid thumbs up. I'm very happy with all of them. Um, yeah, like only got good things to say. Uh, if you want stamping plates and you don't want to spend a lot of money, be sure to pick these up. I'm going to put a couple designs here that I did with these on my nails. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below if there are other products you want me to review. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.